Hello, 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 everybody! Welcome back to Hermitcraft! Tango here, guys. We are here, back in the nether, right where we left off last episode. And, wow, lots to talk about. Okay, so, first thing, the obvious thing is I took all the... A couple of you suggested this is a good idea. I took all of the uh, nether rack out of the middle here and filled it with stone so that if a gas gets in here and blows something up, we don't lose our structure either. We'll, at most, we'll lose, like, the edge. It'll be obvious where to put it back. So, I did that. Um, we did have a little incident already. Uh-huh. <laughs> no shocker. Uh, took out uh, a good corner of over there. I had to replace it, and... Uh, you, you'll notice all of the uh, carpet is not filled in here. We pretty much lost all that. Uh, but that's because we're kind of in a dangerous state here. Keep in mind now, I mean, this is obviously, like, dangerous and this can burn up. But when we're done, we're going to make 100% certain that no gas can spawn in here, okay? And that's that's why we're using glass, non-spawnable, and that's why we're using carpet, which, as of 1.9, I think, or I don't even know which one it is, but uh, is not spawnable either. So... We're going to fill everything up with carpet and glass, and we're going to be good to go. And then once the walls are done and everything, everything's going to be good. Uh, I finished up the blue in the back here, swapped out the stone here as well. So white and blue are officially done. I'm going to do green next, I think, and then yellow, and then probably just go around the room. We're definitely going to get all those done real quick here. Um, the other feedback, I, like, I get the kind of impression that some of you are not really feeling the stairs and stuff yet. And you know what? I don't, I don't know. Like I said, those were just kind of like, eh, maybe this? What do you think? And we'll see. I don't know. Um, someone did have the suggestion of taking the the uh, sandstone out and putting in the red sandstone, which would go a lot better with the Mesa theme and everything. So I really like that. So if we stick with these kind of stairs, I'll definitely go with that. Uh, what else? What else? You know, some of you were saying you don't really like the portals lifted up. Instead, and one of the ideas, one of the suggestions I kind of like, I don't know if it's one or two people, but instead of having stairs go up to the portal, maybe just have the, t the portals themselves be really tall and come all the way down here. The reason I was lifting them up, though, is because, you know, I was going to have like, and I still am, I'm going to have like portals like there, there, there. There's going to be like three between those, three between those, not portals, um, just like tunnels that are future expansion slots, you know, for people to, who want to make uh, pathways far away. Um, so I gotta definitely have a lot of expansion rooms there for people to just dig away and do what they need to do. Um, but, we're, you know, th this episode here, my goal this episode is to get all the districts done, all the clay and grant and landscape, basically everything from the floor down I want to get done here. So we got a lot to do here. So what do you say we start banging out some new districts? Here we go. <laughs> And I'm hiding in my little hidey hole here. And I know there's somebody out there. I could t I, I just know he's right in the middle of things. Let's go check it out. Here we go. Oh, 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 there he is. Oh, oh. Is it coming? No. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, come on. Where are you at? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's going to blast my face off. I know it. Where'd he go? Did oh, he despawned. Did he just despawn? Yeah, right as he was about to shoot a fireball, he despawned. That was great. <laughs> That's right. That's right, not shooting fireballs at me. <laughs> anyway, we are done here, guys. 
And I love it. I absolutely love how it turned out here. Uh, yes, stuff. It's like, this is exactly what I wanted here. We got, all right, so let's start from the top here. We got blue up here and white here, which we had. Uh, green over there kind of goes a little bit, you know, the portal's like a little bit off center. I mean, the real portal's like over in the district over there. Yellow is kind of long, um, but also off to the side. Yellow's the district is like kind of farthest away. Purple, you'll notice like all the districts are kind of cut off because I wanted to make the room square. If I actually like encompassed the entire district of every di district, this room would have been just twice as big. So I kind of took some liberties and hey, get out of there. took some liberties and kind of decided where a good chopping point would be. So, you know, a lot of the purple district here got chopped off in the back, like Azuma's base is probably back here a few more blocks. Uh, brown district is the one that got chopped the most though, because like this is just a little bit of it. It's one of our bigger districts and that's why... That's why I chose it to be our uh, our market district. Uh, but like, you know, you can see like right here is where my iron shop is. Uh, yeah, like I said, the Zuma's base is over there. Cleo's eye thing is like right here probably. Uh, so my base is like, if we're looking at all this, is probably like over here, like right where I'm standing now. Because you guys know I'm like on the little peninsula there, like overlooking the orange district. The uh, triple spawner is probably like over here somewhere. It's just, it's kind of cool. We have like a mini version of the whole city, which is exactly what I wanted. I like it. Um, oh, by the way, I, Brown, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but Brown was by far the biggest winner. So we're going with, uh, we're definitely going with Brown. Everybody, like I'd say 80 to 90% of the people of the comments, you guys all said Brown. So we're going with that because it looks great, good with the clay. Uh, so yeah, I think the next big step, and it's going to be a big one, the next big step. Actually, no, you know what I'm going to do first is put down some carpet because that'll stop some spawns in here a little bit and probably help keep out the gas a little bit more. I still get gas like down below a little bit, which is rough, but I spent a lot of time and built up more walls, more walls over there. There's just like the whole thing is enclosed now. So between having those walls and having like a solid, a semi-solid floor here now, it's I'm, I'm much better protected, which is a good thing. Uh, so yeah, I think what I'm going to do now is get some of the carpet down. Oh, we're flying apparently. Uh, get as much of the, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Uh, get as much of the carpet down as possible, uh, and see how, see how we're looking. I know I don't have enough. Like I know blue, I got, yeah, I got 29 pieces of blue. That's, that's no joke. That's not going to even cover it, but purple, we got a ton. So I might be able to cover the entire purple one. So let me all lay all the carpet down and we'll see what we're looking like. Ugh, yeah, that did not cover nearly <laughs> as much as I had hoped. I almost got yellow done. There's like a little bit left over there. Uh, purple's okay, brown's okay, white is nowhere near done. I'm going to need like six more stacks of white wool. I'm going to have to go, I think, I might just AFK overnight at the string farm, at the triple spawner, and just turn all the string in. That's probably easier than trying to get it from sheep. Uh, like I said, brown's done, orange is just about done, blue is nowhere near done, and green's still got a good chunk to go there, too. Ugh. Why did I do that? I didn't want to do that. Yeah. I'll chop that later. Uh, alright, so now begins the fun part, and by fun, I mean, fun, but a lot of work, and that's to do all the ravines here. Uh, this one I did here was rushed, and it probably took me, like, ten minutes or so just to do this. Uh, so yeah, this is probably gonna take a long time, so we'll see how much I get done before I lose my mind. Uh, but I want to do a better, de better job and make it look a little bit more natural. This looks a little bit too kind of scraggly here and stuff, I think. Uh, but we'll see. I might, I might just like do kind of quick and dirty and then come back and keep refining. That's probably better than trying to do super detailed as I go. So let me do some of that. Let me see. Let's see. I'll go, uh, I'll go this way. Cause this is a nice big open area here. I'll go this way and curve one toward Brown and a little bit over here. And then we got this huge area back here. This is like. Uh, Iskal's base right here, and then just a huge open area out in the back. Uh, all right, so let's see what I can do here. And we are back. We are back. Now, as good a time as any to give you guys a little update on uh, some of the uh, ravine filling in ofication process. Uh, all the, I got wool in all the districts now. Everything's done except this little patch in green over here. So uh, I'll have to finish that later. We'll get some more green. Uh, but things are coming along pretty nice. It's it's very colorful, I will say that, which I think will have some mixed feedback, but uh, overall, I'm really liking it. So you can see I kind of took some detail in, took it down there, uh, over here, and I still, I'm going with mostly, oh, except not right there, I'm going with mostly just hardened clay right now, and then later on when I'm done, and I have all the blocks in position, kind of where I want them to be, that's where I'm going to come back through and like put in the stripes of like orange and some yellows and some reds and stuff and make it very uh, 
multicolor here, but I want to kind of pick a band. Like you can see, like right here, I'm trying to be consistent with. Oh, let's see, I'm not consistent apparently. I was orange there, and then I raised the orange up. That's no good because that's not the way it works. It says, you know, the colors stay at a fixed Y altitude, so I'll have to fix all that. Uh, the yellow over here, this is just my temporary designated where my river is gonna go. Uh, you, one of you guys, a couple of you guys, had a really good suggestion. I honestly don't know how it's gonna look, but I'm gonna give it a try. I think of putting cauldrons in the floor here and fi filling them up to kind of simulate the river. I have a feeling the rim of the cauldron is going to make it look too much not like a river. Uh, but we're definitely going to give it a try because it's a good idea. Uh, and then under here, eventually, you know, we're just going to have open area here. So I'll probably slab this eventually just to keep down on zombies and the noise and everything and having to listen to them. Uh, so what else? Yeah, it's, it's pretty slow going here. Pretty slow going. But uh, we should be done. I'm hoping another hour or so maybe. And I should be done with all that over there and over here. Um, and then we'll get the green wool and then, oh, the other thing I want to mention too is, uh, it's very dark. It's very dark, obviously. Uh, good, good. Like back there in brown and purple, cause I haven't put anything underneath. Like right now it's just stone and carpet. So, uh, one, once this is all done, uh, I'm going to go get some glowstone or maybe uh, visit, uh, I think it's this guy's shop who's got the, the sea lantern shop there. I may go pay some, pay him a visit and donate some, uh, some fundage to him and light these up. Cause I want this all to be nice and bright in here and everything. And then we'll get the glass in. Uh, the other idea I had though, which I think is actually a decent one is I was thinking, wouldn't it be, you know, some people said like, Oh, you should build a mini to scale version of everyone's base. I'm like, that's ridiculous. That's like my whole base is like one block, you know? So you can't do that. But what I was thinking would be fun is if we could somehow get everyone's skull using the command block that we have on the server here, get everyone's skull and kind of put it where their base is in the main town. So I can put my skull just like right here on top of a slab or something. I mean, it would poke up and be a, you know, a little bump in the area, but I think, I think overall that would be a nice addition. Uh, you know, if I could put it like under the glass somehow, I could, I guess I could take like a block, but then you won't even see it though. So yeah, I think, I think I'll just find some way to put it like right on that surface somehow. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I think that'll be a fun idea, and then everyone can kind of contribute and kind of donate their head and everything. We can get everyone all populated here, and that will look really neat and hopefully really help solidify the kind of like this is our city thing. So there we go. Let me uh, get to work here and finish up uh, some of the celebby jabbies. Here we go. All right, all right. We got quite a bit done on the ravine stuff, but it's making my head crazy. So I'm going to take a break on that, and I want to check on my shop here, and I also want to... Sneak some of these cauldrons. I think I don't think anyone's actually gonna ever buy cauldrons, so I'm just gonna yoink some of those there. In fact, I'm gonna. How are we doing on the shop here? How are we doing on the shop? Here? Just, whoa! <laughs> Hello, who who is this? Who was this, guys? Who did all this? Do you have any idea? Look at that. That is. Oh oh, more more. Oh, yes. So I'm going to be lowering the prices of my iron very soon, possibly next episode. I think. Probably cut it in half, probably be uh, two stacks for a diamond, something like that. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, and I'd appropriately lower everything else as well. This is coming in handy. I know people, I know like Zuljin got used to this. We got used to this on the live stream, so people are liking this. I'll have to keep this stocked. I like that. Oh, more chests are out, actually. Uh, Alright, so let me just grab a little bit more iron here, just in case I want to make more cauldrons or something. Uh, and I want to go see what that little river idea is going to look like. Uh, but before we do that, I want to... Oh, what am I? I don't need to get diamonds. I just picked up a whole ton of them. I want to head over to Iskal's place here and uh, help his uh, help the economy a little bit over here and get some. Uh, what are they? Sea lanterns over here. Whoa! There's so much. <laughs> wow! Like okay, so much is changing here every time. We got like scars, trees, and we gotta go check that out in a second. All right. I will go check out the new buildings in a second. Let me pick up some business here. Ah, oh, the piggy. <laughs> The piggy took the place of the, uh, the, whatever these things are. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, how are we doing here? Prices are on the item frame. This is something I need to do. I love the prices on the item frame idea. I need to do that. Uh, six, di six diamonds for one stack. Wow, that's hefty. I could just go get some glowstone, but, nah, I'm too lazy to do that. I've got a little bit of glowstone. Let's see, one, two... Two and three. Okay, so one, two. Oh, I don't even have any. We're gonna dump the nether egg. One, two, three. Oh, don't put that. Put them with that. Just let them rot. Okay, good. That should be enough. Three stacks of sea lanterns should be enough for me to light up all of the carpet there and make that look good. Let's check out what's going on over here. 
This, I think, is Well's place here. Look at that tree. That looks amazing. What, uh, yeah, yeah, we put the water here. <laughs> All right, let's get up here and check out what this is. I want to see what these new shops are. How do I get in? How do I get in? There is a way. To, okay, here we go. Well, it's not a build shop. Another build shop. We have so many build shops. So many build shops. All right. Take book from here to place order and deposit. Okay. All right. I'll keep this in mind. I think my next build job, this is great. Pay here. How are we doing? Nothing. Orders here. No orders yet. Okay. All right. Wells, I will keep you in mind. I will keep you in mind. I've got, uh, I think I want to hit false up for some business. But Wells has obviously proven he can do it too. Look at this. Look at this. Biff I think this was in Biffa's latest episode. This is like his spawner shop. Or he wants to make it look like a spawner. But it's going to be Quartz and Nether shop. So I'm trying to get him to hire Derp to put a mob in the center there of his spawner. I think that'll be pretty, that'll be pretty cool. And let me check out, whoa, what an amazing job Scar did on this place. How do I, there is a, bu a business in here, right? Oh, maybe he's not done yet. I think he's probably not done because he, uh, he took a break for a couple weeks for his surgery. So he should be back soon, I think. And then, of course, while we're here, we got to check on the boogers, <laughs> see how business is doing. See if anybody dropped anything else off. I don't think so. No, we're good. Still plenty of those in there. No payments. No, okay, good. No business there. Uh, all right, let's head back to the Nether Hub and check out or see what cauldrons are going to look like in the ravines. All right, here we go. I'm back in the Nether Hub in the ravines here between uh, blue and white districts. I got orange to my back, and I'm looking at the map here, and it looks like a river pops out of here. So let's see here. We'll do a little bit of this. It kind of curves, and then I had this plant, so it kind of goes all the way through here. So I may shoot this idea down like right away. Let's just see what it's going to look like here. We shall see. I have a feeling it's going to look like butt, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. All right, let me just do a little bit here, and then I'll go get some water and see how that's going to look. Some there, there, there. That should be enough for me to get a feel for it, I think. And then I think obviously getting water right here is a pain, so I'll have to head outside there. But then I also want to start lighting up these uh, these underneath the carpet here. So probably get some kind of pattern to this and just something like this. There we go. Boom. Just such a difference. What a huge difference. Okay, so let's do that. And then I'll do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, every six or so. Maybe that's going to be a lot, though. No, that's probably not too bad. That's enough. I mean, it, lighting doesn't matter for spawn, or for you know, because it doesn't sp stop the pigment or anything from spawning, but the carpet's already going to stop them from spawning. So we're good there. It's really, this is just for look. So I just kind of want to sprinkle this around, really. Eh, yeah, I don't even need a real pattern, I don't think. I can just kind of eyeball it. Something like this. We'll see how it feels. But already that's making things look so much brighter then, and I can just cover this up. Boom, boom. Very, very bright. Excellent. All right, let me go grab some water and fill in these cauldrons here, and we're going to see what these things look like. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work out. All right, here we go. Here we go. Initial reaction. We'll see how this works out here. Yoink, yoink. Yeah, it's kind of what I thought. Let me... I'll fill all of them in here. We'll see, but I have a feeling it doesn't look great because of the... because of the black borders there. kind of takes away too much of the water feel, but let's see. Let's get a bunch in there here. Hey, I said get in there. All right, good. You, 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 and you, and we'll do one more because that's all we got. You. All right, let's hop up top here. See what this is going to look like. Uh, uh, uh. There's my ender pearls. I want to get right up on top here. Right there. Good. Gast, I hear you. I know you're close. You can't get in here anymore, though. I'm pretty much secure here. Like, all this is done. I got all of that done over there. I didn't do the floor. This is done. Uh, I started doing over here. You can see kind of done, 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 kind of done. So I need a little bit more work, but we're pretty much solid in here, except for gas that spawned on the floor down below. All right, here we go. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you think? I think it, it's actually now that I'm looking at it, it's not too bad. I think it's probably going to look better than just putting lapis or something down there. So I don't know. Let me know. Leave a comment. Let me know. I'm curious what you guys think. If you think the... The blue looks good or not. I'm leaning toward doing it. So, yeah, let me finish this river up here. And, uh, the other, yeah, the other thing I wanted to get your opinion on is what else should I, what else should I do down here? I feel like it needs a little bit more life. I remember, like I said, I'm going to add color stripes and everything, uh, probably next episode because this episode's starting to run long. 
And I've I've been doing already like a couple hours of this stuff tonight, so I'm I'm kind of burnt on it. Uh, but let me know what else you think I could put down there. And I'm not gonna do any miniature builds of the real city or anything like that, but little things that actually make sense down there. I don't know, maybe maybe a little like a cactus would just feel huge, I think, but maybe it'll add some characters, some like little cactuses. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Add, you know, leave a comment with some ideas. Let me finish this river up, and then maybe we'll cover some of this up with glass. Maybe we'll just like finish this section right here with uh, with river glass color, you know, mesa and everything, and we'll see how that looks for a final look here. All right, so I have all of the districts lit up now. With and green isn't obviously finished with the carpet yet, but I got lights under all the color districts here. And obviously the first thing that jumps out at you is that white is just so bright, so bright. You know, like I, I went carpet across everything because it spawns proof everything, which is a, like you have to do that in here. Otherwise, this place will get destroyed. Um, but right now it is pretty much spawn proof. Obviously down there it's not. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm just not sure about the carpet. Like I like it, but it's just a lot of bright colors and kind of flat and stuff. I'm thinking I might want to do something else with this. I mean... <laughs> and it's killing me because that was so much time gathering all that wood, all the wool. But maybe, maybe I just do the outside. Maybe I just ring it with the color and then do like a, just a gray carpet interior. I should probably try that. I think that might look good. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I went with cactuses. Cactuses, I think, turned out pretty good. They look good down there. I like them. So I'm going to be sprinkling those everywhere. I started to put yellow in and yellow looked really bright. Um, but you can see I also got the brown glass kind of going all the way across. So you can get a, you get a good look of what I'm talking about here. And then back here is finished off a couple more cactuses with the river going through and everything. Now the, the side walls here and everything, these are obviously all going to change. They're going to be, I don't know if they're just going to be stone or what, but it's going to be just some kind of like, you know, very abrupt. This is the edge of the kind of mini city experiment, uh, but I'll make it all look good and stuff. It'll probably go floor to ceiling and stuff and carry down in there to kind of tie the two together. Um, so yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking things. I'm really liking the valley area. The cauldron stuff worked out better than I thought. The cactuses I'm loving. Uh, I gotta be careful on the color of the stripes. There's a little bit, a little bit much down there, but again, let me know what you think about the stripes down there. And the districts are bright. I mean, white is just like, boah, it's like blindingly light. So I could just take some of the lights out, but then you're just gonna get a lot of shadows and stuff. I don't know. Uh, I'm really thinking just ringing the perimeter with like blue here, you know orange going around here kind of thing and then filling all the insides in with like a flatter color um remember whatever suggestions you have it's got to be spawn proof uh so that's kind of a <laughs> requirement uh, all right so one more thing i want to show you guys is the final overhead map i'm going to jump on my camera account here and show you what things look like and how well we uh reproduced the city okay doing a little flyby up in the ceiling here just to show you what this looks like i'll try to uh put the overlay of the actual city map on the screen right now so you can kind of compare the two together here. The white district obviously dominates the middle of it. Yellow district, and you can see obviously it's all cut off based on where I drew the uh, the border there. So there's yellow district. Uh, and again, those floating individual blocks, they're there still just to kind of let me know where the portal should be in the center of it all. Here's purple. You can see decent there, kind of cuts over to the left a little bit. Oh, there's Mumbo. Uh, he was having so much fun doing villagers. It was funny. <laughs> uh, all right, we got brown district here. We got up here, we got orange district. It's probably the smallest one, just a little bit, but followed the model of the map that you can see there still. Blue district, I think I did pretty good. These stairs are probably going to change completely, so once I get all the glass in and stuff, I'll probably finish this a lot of this off between episodes, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but I think the ideas for the stairs are probably going to change. And uh, a lot of this is still up in there. I'm going to have to put some serious thought into how I want to finish this room above the floor. <laughs> but all right, guys, that's going to do it for today. I got a little bit more work to do here. Like I said, I'll do them between episodes. And until next time, I will see you then. Thanks so much for watching. Tango out. Tango out.